Hi, uh, my name is Gary Gall. I'm a professor and also an extension specialist with Ohio State University South Centers. Uh, today I'm going to uh, talk to you about a very exciting uh, group of plants. And this is, uh, uh, many of you have heard of figs and, and they're uh, definitely not, uh, uh, not common plants uh, in Ohio. Uh, however, uh, there's a group of uh, figs, uh, figs and that are uh, cold hardy, okay. Uh, there are several uh, several varieties. We're very fortunate uh, to uh, have been able to uh, secure a grant uh, from Ohio Department of Agriculture and uh, USDA. Actually, the uh, funding came uh, came uh, came to came from USDA Agricultural Marketing Services uh, through Ohio Department of Agriculture uh, in the form of. Uh, uh, specialty crop block grant. So I'm standing in front of uh, uh, a few hardy figs and in the high tunnel, and we're comparing uh, comparing uh, uh, hardy figs uh, inside the high tunnel and outside the high tunnel. Um, so uh, so this particular group and uh, they are cold hardy. Um, well, uh, it depending on what you call uh, truly hardy, uh, because. Uh, uh, the roots uh, uh, will be uh, uh, cold hardy, and then uh, the top might die back. But as you can tell, uh, in the high tunnel, unheated green an unheated greenhouse, uh, and they still grew uh, grew quite a bit. So this is a very encouraging uh, encouraging sign. And then, as you can you can see, if you um, if you get a little bit closer, uh, boy, just so neat to see uh, uh, see the fruits, uh, see the uh, you know, see the fix and uh, let's see from where I'm standing. Let's see one two three four five probably seven eight uh, uh, eight uh, uh, hardy uh, fix uh, on one one shoot and there are multiple shoots uh, in this uh, in this group. So what's going to happen is uh, once they set fruits and they will just uh, uh, get a little bit bigger and and then I would say the final size uh, might be about the uh, size of a dollar kind of a pear shaped and I would say late August early September and they will uh, they will turn very uh, nice and sweet and, and soft so uh, so the two uh, uh, two varieties that I remembered and one of those uh, is called Hardy Chicago and uh, the second one is uh, Celeste so we may have a couple more varieties uh, and we also uh, received uh, several uh, selections uh, uh, from uh, from a manager uh, with uh, Gardens Alive, and hopefully we'll find out how good they are. As you can tell, uh, uh, this is a very uh, this is a uh, very hot summer day, and also inside the high tunnel, it's a little bit uh, uh, it's uh, quite a test endurance test. Anyways, uh, uh, so multi it's going to be a multi stamped uh, uh, multi stamped uh, plant, and so. Uh, during the winter months, uh, if you actually, uh, you, uh, there are two ways uh, to uh, grow this. Uh, one way is to uh, cut everything to the ground, so you, you get all new fruits. Uh, another way is uh, uh, you can actually uh, tip them, uh, tip the uh, tip the new canes, uh, and then or old canes. Uh, uh, you can get them to uh, branch more, and so you get a whole lot more fruits. Uh, uh, so depending on how you want to measure how you want to manage them. Uh, in Ohio, we are still learning, uh, learning how to do this, and this will be a, 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 a pretty nice uh, niche plant. So it will not be, uh, will not be uh, promoting them uh, in terms of uh, thousands and hundreds of thousands of acres, and, but for small acreage, this could be a very interesting plant, uh, uh, maybe for far, you know, farmer's market and, uh, and all that. Um, so pick your own. So it's a pretty nice fruits, and we had uh, several last year, and they taste very good, uh, excellent fruits. And right now, they, these guys uh, are still green. And otherwise, uh, I will get one and taste it. Uh, I know they wouldn't taste good right now. So if you have any more questions, uh, you're all, uh, always welcome to uh, visit our website uh, uh, at OSU South Centers in Piketon. Um, so we you can do that, and we also have. Uh, um, you know, other uh, information online so you can do that and you can always call us uh, or email us uh, we'd be more than happy to answer your questions